what's this? A funny bit of wire with two nice hooks on the end, but it's all strumpy wire. Well, you probably recognise it. It's one of those bits of magic which you have to perform with hot water. Would you believe? I've got a bowl of water to put it in. It's all scrumpled up like this, completely blur. Put it in there and it, poof, suddenly. Well, I'll fetch it out now so you can read it a little more clearly. It was a vast great thing. Let's have a go. Burn my fingers, never mind. Now, see if I can get this to perform here. Now, if I pull it out that way, like that, that's right. I'll pull it out gently. It's I and a heart, which is the word for love, L-O-V-E, and a capital letter U. I love you. And it all started as a bit of crumpled wire suddenly made into a real message when it's in hot water. Isn't that magical? But a nice and old metal, as it's called. It's a very, very nice thing to play with and lots of fun. And I thought because it's got letters there, I and you at least it's got, that I'd show a few more of my toys which are alphabetical toys, things which involve the alphabet letters and are at the same time quite fun. This one, for instance, is one I don't think I've ever shown before. It's actually a magic trick where you're supposed to show film, the word film, and then you have to point out it's black as is its usual on white, so it's black letters and a white background. And when you turn it over like that and slide it around and do various pizza pieces, it becomes mm, and from a bit of, yeah, there we are. Now it's white letters and a black background. Well, I'll have to show the trick. All I'm doing is I'm sliding that there, and that's the word film in normal black letters and a white background, and that is the opposite. Black on white, white on black. They change over just like that. Very interesting idea. It's called background perversion. This is a much more complicated but much more interesting version of the same thing exactly. This is a Sivi Fahi. He's a, when I met him, he's American. I think he's probably Parsi or something, but I last heard about him attending a college in New Zealand doing things. So his first name is it's not, it's not readable until I've pointed out, but Fahi's here, there's an F here, there's a rather battered looking A here, a funny looking R there, and a sort of Y there. Now, can you do this business of black on white, white on black, and look for a nice, nice white S, that big circle there is a nice wiggly serpentine S, which is a white letter, and that's the letter I with a dot on the top, and that's a V going round there, and that's finally a Y. If you could just suddenly flip your brain into see white on black, not black on white. And it's got both his names there, Sivi and Fahi, brilliantly produced by Scott Kim, who's an expert at this. He's the who does upside down writing. But that's a lovely version tying up with his pieces here. There's a, an old um, puzzle from about 40 years ago, which a friend of mine, James Dalgetty, made. Uh, called Counterspell, and these are all magnets which are in a little cell here of plastic, and they're all repelling each other, so they're trying to push away from each other as far as they can. If you shake them, they won't come together because they're not attracting, they're repelling. And the idea is to shake it around and shake it around until you've formed letters like Easter or Teresa and things, and preferably, oh, there's colours as well to play with underneath, and it's quite tricky to do, especially if he says on the blurb, you've got to try and get them as upright as you can as well. But the idea is make them in a circle like that, spelling the word Teresa or Easter or read something. It's a whole series of little games you can play, each of them revolving a bit of that and then lots of tap, 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 tapping to get the final bit of adjustment. I find that very difficult, so I have to say I haven't played with it too often because I find it frustrating. When I see a friend next time, I'll ask him, is there a, is there a trick for doing this? Hmm. Here's another one which I'm very pleased to get. It's a block of wood with three letters carved into it. There's a T, that's my name, Tim. That's my middle name, Quilla, an old Cornish name. And my surname is Rowett, which is here. And this will come apart. That's the best part of it. It's all been carved out of a piece of wood. If I can open it, there's a T coming out. And here's the U coming out. Oops. And here's the R coming out, looking very fragile, but it's just about there. And there's the block of wood it came from. TQR, all intersecting 
in a block of wood. So that's what you have to do. Just write on a bit of paper your initials of your name, preferably three initials. He can do it with just two, but it's more fun with three. And he'll carve it out for you for a very really, really reasonable price. He didn't charge a lot of money for this. This is Kevin Holmes, who sadly lost now, but he was for many, many years doing this in a, in a street market in the middle of London. Here's something else I picked up at a Tesco store, even though I should have got it, perhaps in New York City, because it's NYC, stands for New York City, and it's yes, a whole lot of paper clips. But only with those letters, I think, or that, yes, I think it's mostly those letters, New York City, Y's and things. The N is in the S, right, the N is in, in yellow. So it's only the three letters, but it's got New York City in every one of the perfectly good functioning paper clips. So they'll fit on a bit of paper, just slip it over like that, and it'll, it'll hold it, which is very nice. Very nice idea, that. The last item is an absolutely superb book by this French artist who's made an alphabet book, A to Z, so I won't show all of them, there's 26 letters, there's too many, but his paper engineering is just unsurpassed, I think. Start at the beginning with a very easy one like that, it pops up, but then they get much, much cleverer. Look at this one here. This one here starts with a lot of stripes until you take it further and further and out come the two bulbs to form the letter B. Isn't that clever? This one's even better because it's the letter C, you can see, but as I open it further and further and further, it flips over into a D, and that is ingenious. And this also converts from a letter E into a bit further, a bit further, a bit further, and letter F, and so on. It's just wonderful. The engineering he's done on it is just superb. And so just sort of something else. That's, a, that's an original one which goes sort of, um, that's right, in, inward, inwardly. I like that. And I'll go towards the end. Oh, that's a nice one for letter S and T. And then, oh, that's a particularly nice one. Look at that for you. That's beautiful. And the last few, well, this is a nice one. It's an X which turns into a Y. And the final one, Z, stands upright. And when I make it stand upright like that, you'll see it. So that's a very, very fine book. He's done one on counting, which I've shown already um, in another video. But this is his one on the alphabet, which I think is just superb. He's Marion Bretail. I think that's the name he uses for his publication. But I think it's one of the best of those pop-up books I've ever come across. It just happens to be one on the alphabet. So what a find and what a lovely thing. And we'll have to look for a few more because I've got a feeling in my collection there are quite a number of alphabet toys.